What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. So before I properly start this video off, make sure to subscribe if you enjoy Juventus content. Anyways, let's get into this video. What's up everybody, so we have some new news coming from Romeo Agresti that Mary Demiral will not be signing for Atalanta and can potentially be staying at Juventus. Now, if you asked anyone, any Juve supporter or any supporter in general, if this had the possibility of happening, like if you ask them like mid-season, they will probably say no chance. Atalanta were really happy with Demiral, at, at least that's what we thought. Do this uh, decent performances for them and he was starting regularly too playing almost all the time so it's coming a bit as a surprise now to see that they're not redeeming him now in my opinion i don't think this has to do with them not being happy with the player because the player has been a good romero replacement for the club it more has to do with the money if you ask me because if you look at last season atalanta's objective was clearly after they went out in the champions league was clearly to win the europa league that's why they were like an eighth and ninth place at the end which i think they finished in eight in Serie A which means no European qualification they were relying their hopes on qualifying for Europe solely on the Europa League to obviously go to the Champions League which didn't happen so you have no money or at least basically no money from the Europa League since they're they definitely don't give as much money for the knockouts as the Champions League does so you have no money from that because they didn't even win it you have no money coming because you qualify for Europe because they didn't they didn't win a Coppa Italia they didn't win the Europa League or they didn't finish in at least seventh place which which uh, my bad Fiorentina did which means that they're going to the Conference League whilst Atalanta are basically going to stay home when it comes to Europe they're not going to play any European matches this season which means they have basically no money to play with like apart from as I said that little bit of money they get from qualifying and knockout stages and going to the I think they went quarterfinals and then they got knocked out to RB Leipzig so they didn't even go that far that means they won two knockouts which isn't that crazy especially for Europa League since they won the round of 32 and the round of 16 yes because obviously as I said before they were in third place in the Champions League group now there's also another question that has to be asked which is will Demiral stay at Juventus or will he be shipped over to another club now Romero Grace has said that Juventus are looking to ship them out to another club but I'm I'm thinking which club will want Demiral? And this is not me saying that he's a bad player. You know, I have a few problems with him due to him being way more aggressive. Like, he's he's very over-aggressive, which is a bit of a problem. Also, I do personally think that the three at the back suits him way more than the four at the back. Obviously, three at the back, which turns into a five at the back at defense. Because we saw for Atalanta, he played quite good at the three at the back. Obviously, he dropped a stinker now and again. But he was quite consistent. But that has nothing to do with his ability. It has to do with which clubs can be interested in his uh, profile. And are there really clubs that need a center back like Demiral? Now in Serie A, I don't think there's that much of a possibility of him going anywhere. Because uh, I would think Fiorentina maybe. Because I think Milenkovic Savic will probably get sold. So maybe in Serie A, Fiorentina. But I don't see Milan going for him. I don't see Inter going for him. Definitely not Napoli if Koulibaly is staying. Lazio maybe. Maybe, but they're getting Romagnoli, so I wouldn't think they would get him either. Roma might go for him since they play at the three of the back, and we, like they need a center back, I would think, because they don't have center backs with good quality. When it comes to the top clubs, apart from Roma and Fiorentina, I don't really see why anyone else would be interested in him. So I would probably think outside, uh, I would think outside of Italy. I would think uh, maybe Bundesliga, a Bundesliga team might want him. And Premier League, since it's quite, you know, high pace and there's a lot of physicality needed. And I do think that the Real does kind of fit that profile. And you know that the Premier League, basically every team has a lot of money due to, you know, uh, TV rights. And I'm earning just a lot of money. Even if you get relegated, you get, I'm pretty sure, more than the Serie A winners, which is crazy to me. So, you know, I can see a move to the Premier League. Maybe Tottenham, they were interested Liverpool were interested at one point I think either they were gonna bid either they did bid like 40 50 million and we rejected I think something like that uh, Leicester were interested at one point so I can see one of those teams if he does leave will be interested but I personally think we're probably uh, quote unquote stuck with him because as I said he's not a bad player and we do kind of need the center backs due to Kilini leaving because we are with Benucci Delict, and then we have Rugani and Gatti who Gatti will have to you know and they play good for Italy but he'll have to you know warm up to the idea of playing for you know Juventus um, and obviously Rugani is just a rotational player so if you do keep Demiral, that could be good when it comes to center backs because as I said, we need as many center backs as we can. Let me guys know what you guys think in the comments down below. Will he stay? Will he leave? Make sure to like, share, subscribe for more of this kind of content. I'll see you in the next one.